genus Tometopoea, also known as processionary caterpillars, are often a problematic genus of moths in Europe because processionary caterpillars um, have urticating hairs and are defoliators of plants and because of the health risk and the damage they do to uh, vegetation often classifies them as pests including the country where I live in the Netherlands where the oak processionary caterpillar Tomatopoeia processionea is often um, being combated with insecticides um, here we have one moth from this genus Tometapoeia herculeana but actually these are generally not considered pests because the biology of this species is rather unique first of all they don't really have strongly urticating hairs like their brothers and sisters do so they will not cause you any irritations or skin problems or allergies or problems when breathing um, all these problems are known from the oak processionary caterpillar the T. processionea but Tometopoeia herculeana comes from Spain and some parts of uh, the Canary Islands or I should say the Canary Islands and they generally live in dry and barren landscapes where they feed on very per particular plants such as wild geranium and sunrose uh, erodium and helianthemum and currently I'm feeding them uh, one kind of wild uh, geranium known as cranes bill you should look it up on the internet and the tomato puea um, herculeana is said to be difficult to breed because they have a low tolerance for humidity you can imagine they uh, live often in dry and barren landscapes like uh, rocky places in Spain and here they scavenge for uh, low vegetation and herbs from the, the geranium and sunrose family which is interesting so this will make for an interesting rearing and a challenging one I should keep them dry and well ventilated and their host plants are a little bit of a challenge too because these kind of plants in the Cistacea, I believe Cistacea family and the Geraniaceae family are not that common to find in the Netherlands but yeah you can see some interesting social behavior I like that they're not going to be the prettiest or most impressive looking moths in the, wild, in the world but it will be an interesting observation of a species with a unique biology and it looks like they are feeding already which is good so stay tuned for their development and thank you for watching